Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Christy Martin and this year I'm doing my student teaching in West Palm Beach, Florida and today is a big day because it's my first day in my second placement of student teaching. So my first semester I did private school and that was awesome. I did it in first grade and now I am doing public school and I'm also in first grade. So I'll be switching schools, switching classes, but I am in the same grade, which is kind of comforting, but I'm very nervous this morning. I have never been to the school or anything like that. With Kings, um, when I was doing the private school, I went there. So there was definitely a level of comfort and I knew where everything was. Going into this, I have no clue how it's gonna be. I literally know nothing, but I have had contact with my teacher and she seems really nice. So it's gonna be a great day, but I can't wait to fill you in on all of it, especially I'm gonna be able to see differences between private school and public school. And that's why my university does this so that we can know which we like best so I'm like super excited about it but I'm also very nervous it is like so early right now I think it's almost 5:45 or 5:45. that's what I woke up it's almost 6 45 um I want to be at the school around 7 20 but me I like to be there like 10 minutes early so I've never driven there either I don't know do you guys get nervous when you haven't driven to a place and then you have to like go and you're afraid you're gonna get lost. I think I'm just really bad with direction so I also get nervous about that. What is weird is I'm going to school and it's still dark outside even though it gets light because it's only 6.47 right now and I'm about to leave but I figured I should document this because it's a little weird to be leaving my house in the dark in the morning. My first day of student teaching in public school of this semester is officially done. It's about 3.15 now so we stayed like an hour after school. My teacher was super nice. She was just like filling me in on a lot of stuff but let me tell you it is so different from my experience in private school different in a good way too because I'm gonna learn a lot more about the technological side of teaching at this point especially during COVID man those teachers who are doing that dual um, teaching in-person kids and kids online at the same time that is so hard I watched her do that the whole day today because she has in-person kids and also kids who are virtual and she teaches live the students who are virtual. So, man, it was amazing to watch and that is so hard. So I'm definitely gonna have to learn a lot to be able to do that. I'm a little bit nervous because there's a lot you have to remember. I'm excited to learn from her about all of that because I feel like that's gonna be super beneficial because honestly, this virtual component of education is probably not going away anytime soon, especially with the state of the pandemic and things like that. So this is gonna be really helpful, really beneficial. Also, I found a Starbucks that is on my way home. So I'm stopping there now to get some, but I think it doesn't have a drive-through, so I have to go in. Uh, but I'm gonna get some, cause I was like, oh my gosh, if I can find a Starbucks nearby, I'm gonna be golden, and I did. There is a drive through Okay, this is my Starbucks now. I'm so excited. Good morning, guys. Today is Tuesday, and it's another day. Yes, I am wearing a black sweater on a black t-shirt. Forgive me. I look like I'm going to help backstage in a play. I had to put a sweater on because it's 52 degrees outside, and I walked out, and I was like, not expecting that. So I've been blasting the heat and trying to stay warm. <laughs> So I'm here really really early at my school. It's like 7 o'clock and I needed to be here at 7.20 So tomorrow I promise I will not leave as early. I just had to get used to the drive My like I can't not be early because I just will be too stressed So I'm just gonna drink my coffee And sit in my car until it's time because I don't have a key or anything to get in so I just have to like stand outside and wait for my teacher so I don't think she gets here till probably 7 20 I'm not totally sure so it's a little bit after school I've changed I'm headed to my actual like PBA class um I have two classes this semester usually they'll both be tonight but I didn't have one of them so that's exciting so I only have to go at six I think it's six to eight Hopefully we'll get out early, we'll see. It, this is a long day, I don't know how I'm gonna stay awake. Especially when I start actually teaching, like right now I'm just sitting around watching and learning. 
it is different being at this um, school. I feel like I'm going to be comparing my two experiences this whole semester because I have had a scene teaching experience. Um, I don't do any tasking. I literally just sit there and watch, which I've learned so much from, so I'm so thankful for that. Um, but it does get a little boring just because you have nothing to do. At the other school, I was like watching slash tasking with what my teacher needed help with. So very different, very different. There's good and bad to both. today's Wednesday and I am stuck in traffic so this is great this is like my worst nightmare I go early every single time just so I don't I can avoid this but now it's saying that I'm gonna get to my school around 727 I'm only a mile like 1.2 miles away from my school and it's because of either construction or an accident I'm not sure <sighs> It sucks. So I texted my teacher and she was really nice. But, I mean, this isn't my fault. I left on time and everything. But it just sucks. I hate being late. Like, I hate it. Anyway, so that's how I'm starting my Wednesday morning. Stuck in standstill traffic. So the day is done. Sorry about my hair. I just got it cut. So it's not really done. And she's like, do you want to blow dry? I'm like, I'm just going home. So... I did want to talk about planners real quick because I was able to stop at Target after school and pick up a planner. Now, my last planner was a day designer. It was this planner right here. It was a day designer planner. I loved it. It like gave every day with like specific times that you can write stuff down on and I just thought it was great. However, it was super expensive and I wasn't in the mood to spend a lot of money on a planner this year. Yes, I used that so I do think it was worth the money but I just was like, not this year. I don't really want to spend that much on a planner. So I went to Office Depot to look for one and they didn't have a huge selection. I was a little too late because everyone had already gotten their planners for the new year. but. They did have day designer, so let me show you the one I got from there. This is the one I'm actually going to be returning, I think. The day designer, almost exactly like my other one, except I'm not a huge fan of the cover number one. And it wasn't hardcover like my other one, but the format is the same. Well, actually, it's a little different. They have, it's a little different. They have all these times listed here. You see how it has today's schedule and then times to do, top three things, notes. Yeah, it's got a lot of space for each individual day, which I love that it's just each day you flip a page and then it's a new day and you can just plan it out. I love that. So this was that planner and I was like, okay, I like it. It's $37. Not as bad as I spent on the hardcover one last year, but I'm not in love with the design. I also think the inside is a little cluttered. It's not exactly like my last one. So I was like, okay, let me go to Target and see if I can find one. What I found at Target looked like this. I'm not a huge fan of the front, but I do like it a little better than the other one. This is by Kelly, I don't even know what that says, Some the, and then Blue Sky. I never heard of it, but anyway, is that Target? I opened it up, and it had the same thing. It had the times. It had a check to do spot, and then it had a place for notes and gratitude. So I was like, it's so much simpler looking than the other one. And guess what? This was only $20. So I'm keeping this one. Hey guys, so today is Thursday. So one more day till the week is over. It is now the afternoon. Today was a wild day because there was a sub. So it was me and the sub. I got to do a little math with them. So that was my first thing that I started um, that I have done with them. That was my first thing I've done with them. And it went really well trying to balance the virtual and the online. I tried my best. Now I am at Off Broadway Shoes and I'm going to go in and try to find some closed toed shoes because that's all you can wear at the public school. So I only have a few pairs and they're not that comfortable so I'm kind of trying to find other ones. No look at the shoe store sadly. So that means I'll have to go back out and eventually look for close to shoes another time. But I did want to show you some of the pants that I got from, I think it's Ann Taylor Loft and Banana Republic that actually fit really well and have been working super 
good for this public school student teaching that's a little more casual but still nice still cute still comfortable and they fit well so i'm gonna start with the outfit that i wore today okay so these pants these are the first ones these are the ones that i'm wearing today they're a cropped um pant which i really like especially for short legs they're super lightweight which is nice for florida and they're really comfortable and they were great with having to bend down and get on the floor with kids because they're loose which is nice for my legs as well so anyway and then I just paired it with a comfy sweater that I got for Christmas from one of my friends I think it's from Banulu which is a little boutique I think here I don't know if it's anywhere else but anyway and then the shoes are from Madewell which I like them I like them but not for all day teaching they're they're actually hurting a lot right now because they're there's no support and it rubs in a weird way so anyway so these are the first cute pair of pants that I got and I'm really happy about them these are the next pair of pants they're gray and they're the same length as the other ones and I really really like them they're very wrinkled right now I haven't worn them yet and I probably wouldn't wear them with I could wear them with this shirt maybe but like not these shoes obviously but I wore this outfit earlier in the week these pants are from Banana Republic. The other two were from Ann Taylor Loft. These I think are from Banana Republic and they have this checkered pattern on them. Okay, so these are my next pair of plants. They're blue. These are from Banana Republic 2 and they are really cute because they are tighter at the calf and then they're a little baggier here which fits my leg type honestly for sure. So I really like these. I might probably won't wear it with this shirt, but this is the one that I had in here. So I like the way these fit and look, and they're really comfy as well. So my last pair of pants are these. I really like the pattern on them. The only bad thing about these is they do, um, from the ankle, like bunch up a little bit because they are kind of cropped. So they don't like necessarily stay down. But I have worn these to school and they were great they did they fit a little bit big in the waist so if you're looking for pants try Ann Taylor Loft or Banana Republic because I found good deals and good pants that really fit well I'll link all these pants down in the description if I can find them so that you too can grab a pair if you are interested and looking for a good pair of teacher slash work pants good morning guys it's Friday and I cannot be happier to sleep in tomorrow. It's been rough waking up early every single day after not waking up for a while. As you can hear, my voice is a little bit hoarse and it's only from teaching one math lesson yesterday. I get used to wearing the cloth mask while I teach. At my other school, I was able to wear the shield, which also made me hoarse, if any of you remember, because you're talking so much louder with the echo that you're also hearing from the shield. So, good and bad to both but that when I was trying to get air to like talk I was like sucking the mask in it, it was kind of annoying um so I had to like hold it out get some air and then it was like all wet like I obviously spit when I talk which is the whole point of wearing a mask it is Friday afternoon and it's finally the weekend I got a uh, coffee on my way home and it's gonna be very dangerous because the Starbucks is on the way home like it's literally on the way the for my last school the starbucks you had to kind of go out of the way um in order to get to my house so that was a little better a little less tempting but this forget it it's so tempting anyway this is an americano with soy milk if you haven't tried it like i said it's the best drink out there i wanted to show you something really cute that some of my students made for me obviously when you're a teacher you get lots and lots of drawings i realized that being a student teacher honestly it's one of the best things ever because they put so much time and effort into it so you know it took a lot of time so i have to share them with you i just do because they make me so happy so let me show you so this is the first drawing i got this is me and my cooperating teacher together and this one is me she dressed me in all green which is really cute i don't think i've worn green this semester but I loved it. It was so sweet and thoughtful. My student also drew me a Ferris wheel, so that was kind of cute. I don't really know why a Ferris wheel. I think it was supposed to be a color wheel. I think she might have done this in art. This last one is a watermelon 
because one of the students asked, what's your favorite fruit? And then she came over and handed me this after I said it was a watermelon. So how cute. Well, that is it for my weekly vlog. I know there was not that much going on. It was really just me getting into the routine of student teaching again at a new school in public school, which is way different. So thank you so much for following along with me this week. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel so that you can see all my new videos. I really hope this brightened your day.